Our ultimate objective in this region is to build a replacement for a way station that was lost to the TAR. The first step is to put a shelter with our scientists on the chiral network. Now, we don't know the first thing about Emily's status or what Higgs is up to. Now, that's a concern for us as much as you. But we won't know more until we get to Edgenot City. And that means connecting this region first. You should start with the geologist and the paleontologist. The latter's holding something for the Evo Devil biologist, so I recommend you save her for last. That way, you can finish a delivery and link up the final site in one go. Once all three are on the grid, come back here. Then we can get to work on the replacement for that lost way station. geologist of ours has been studying fossils as part of his research into prehistoric extinction events. He's been out there conducting excavations for a while now and has begun to suffer the effects of chiral contamination. No doubt the result of excessive exposure to chirelium during the dig. Until the site is properly decontaminated, his work can't proceed. Nor will his health improve. So we need you to bring him some chirelium scrubbing agents. Administering shock. Stand clear. The stratum the team was investigating dates from the end of the Cretaceous period, the time of the infamous mass extinction, which brought the reign of the dinosaurs to a close, leaving small mammals to inherit the Earth. It's the most recent of the Big Five, and one of the largest mass extinctions the world has ever seen. In any event, our team found something truly remarkable. Can you guess what it was? A fossil beach. If that is indeed what it is, then he has made a tremendous discovery. Therefore, Sam, it is essential that you deliver those Chirelium scrubbing agents as soon as possible. One more thing, Sam. For this run, you'll be transporting an antimatter bomb. Bridges' paleontologist working on a dig says he needs it. Apparently, the fossils he wants to study are buried deep beneath tar, and the only way he can get to them is by blowing it wide open. Now, hopefully, I don't need to tell you to be extra careful when handling high-yield explosives, but in case I do, make sure you keep that container in one piece, no matter what. Let's get a move on. His Doom's abilities seem to have increased. And now he takes every opportunity to walk the beach in search. you doom sufferers see that end of day stuff i put the nightmares down to fatigue the uh, possibility of chiral contamination never even occurred to me uh, it's just lucky we caught it before the suicidal stage dying's not an option my research is nowhere near complete it's not just my life you're saving here 
It's my life's work. I started to wonder if I'd ever see these meds. I guess you really are good at what you do, huh? Thank you. Oh, yes. Right then. <laughs> if you'd do the honors. with access to a treasure trove of historical research materials. Studying this fossil beach should be a good deal easier now. Assuming I can prove once and for all that that's what it is. Honestly, though, I'm just excited I can finally share these findings with everyone. Can you believe I found chiral deposits and strata dating back 65 and a half million years? Evidence of an ancient death stranding. Chiral matter has existed on Earth since long before the dawn of man. This stratum is proof of that. Look at this, Sam. Do you see that black fissure there? We believe this is the source of the Chirelian readings. In the distant past, earthquakes caused frictional melting along fault lines, producing layers of what is known as pseudotachylite. We call these layers fossil earthquakes. Extending the principle, our fissure here is what one might term a fossil beach. The presence of corellium in this of all strata cannot be a mere coincidence. It strongly suggests that beaches must have appeared during the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event. And not just then. The chiral network has recovered data suggesting that similar fossil beaches were discovered in strata corresponding to other extinction events too. That would seem to indicate the Big Five and all other major extinctions were accompanied by the appearance of beaches. In expanding the chiral network, you've helped us glimpse a pattern in these scattered points of data. You've furthered our individual research projects and ensured that it is only a matter of time before we recover all we have lost and solve every mystery that remains. But this is only the beginning. See this through, Sam, and there's no telling what we might learn. Appreciated, friend. Thanks to you, we can finally move ahead with the dig. <sighs> I swear, this place is bad enough without having to worry about getting asphyxiated. <laughs> Not that I need to tell you. <laughs> you did it, after all. Though I can't for the life of me imagine how. You can set up the chiral network. Turns out, Sam Bridges, I have a favor to ask. A local porter was on his way here with something very valuable, but dropped it en route. It's a 200 million year old ammonite, which looks, he says, almost as if it were still alive. He apparently stumbled across it in a boulder field, which had previously been hidden beneath a glaive of it. The man claims this ammonite has an umbilical cord. <sighs> an umbilical cord. Color me skeptical, but the specimen merits study. And I want to leave such delicate work to an amateur. So I asked him to carve out the whole surrounding chunk of rock and bring it here to me. Naturally, I wanted to compare it with contemporary specimens in the vicinity. Which is why I had him excavate a number of those in addition to the one he told me about. But what does a dumb fuck go and do? He loses the whole shipment. 
didn't even have the good sense to mark which container had the ammonite with the umbilical cord. The cargo was supposedly lost in the area to the southwest, where toxic gases have a tendency to build up. Old Mr. Reliable claims his cargo scanner is broken, and there's no way he can recover the shipment. But you... you could track it down. To protect you against the fumes, I'll provide you with an oxygen mask. Just to be safe. You can pick it up when you accept the order. That fossil could represent an epical discovery. While there are examples of viviparous fish, an ammonite with an umbilical cord is unheard of. And if it is indeed 200 million years old, it would also correspond with the end Triassic extinction, another one of the Big Five. Could the umbilical cord be connected to the beach? We must recover that cargo at all costs. It could provide a vital clue to the mechanisms underpinning the Death Stranding. We're so close. So very, very close to grasping the true nature of the phenomenon. Hurry, Sam. We cannot risk that ammonite being lost. Immaculately preserved. Uncannily, even. Thanks for bringing in that lost shipment, Sam. And yes, it did indeed include an ammonite with a bona fide umbilical cord attached. I've already sent some images and a preliminary analysis to Hartman via the network. Interestingly, it seems the surrounding strata contain traces of tar, which lines up with one of his theories. Anyway, I, I know you only just brought this ammonite here, but I'd like you to deliver it to a colleague of mine, an Evo Devo biologist. Lately, she's taken an interest in the tar, and I think she'd be eager to examine this particular specimen. It's quite remarkable, and that's to your credit. To clarify, she has been studying how the tar may have influenced the development of various organisms. Accordingly, I would ask that you also recover the tar collectors deployed near her shelter, and deliver them along with the ammonite. It would be too dirty of them herself which is why we must impose upon you. By aiding her research, we may yet inch closer to unraveling the secrets of the Death Stranding. We've already made so much progress with the data recovered by the network. With your continued help, I know we can accomplish even more.
impressed, Sam. Not many people would have even attempted this. May I have a look? Not a scratch on it. And the tar inside is safe and secure. You do not disappoint, my friend. Now, me to the chiral network. That's where my studies will truly begin. without saying, but I am convinced that the tar is related to the BTs and the Death Stranding. After all, both it and Timefall are the defining features of the post-Stranding ecosystem. Sudden environmental changes such as these invariably lead to the extinction of organisms that fail to adapt. Those that do adapt do so by virtue of enhancers, the regions of DNA that grant successful organisms their advantages. These genetic factors are the key to evolution. But there are genes which have the opposite effect, those which disadvantage organisms. Extinction factors, as they have been called. These are the seeds of advanced obsolescence. Such factors may lie dormant within us all, a choice waiting to be made. For every being since the advent of life itself. If so, then ancient proof may hide deep within the tar, Evidence of these genetic decisions that may aid us in navigating our current crossroads. In any event, thanks to now study the composition of the tar in greater detail. I'll make sure to share any interesting results with you later. Well done, Sam. You furthered our research into the Death Stranding in ways you cannot imagine. Thank you again for bringing me Mama's body, as well as that ammonite. Speaking of which... My analysis of its umbilical cord is proceeding apace. I've been comparing the data against some of our restored archives. Anyway, would you mind returning to my lab? Preparations are finally complete for the chiral relay integration. If you could collect the necessary materials for the restoration work and bring them here, I would be most grateful. A few moments later... Thank you, Sam. In reclaiming our past, we've uncovered a number of vital clues. I just got back. We have time. When you met with Mama, you experienced a strong antigen antibody reaction, correct? There was a BT in the room. There was, but something else may have been causing it. I've discovered large quantities of chiral matter in Mama as well. Not just the usual kind that collects on our skin or on our suits. In all her cells. Cells that are no longer active. The BT you encountered there was special. It was her child, but also her own soul. Somehow, her car and her failed to separate. They must have remained connected through the umbilical cord. It's the only explanation. Is that why I didn't get a bruise where she touched me? Yes. And there's more. Ten seconds to cardiac arrest. Five, four, three, two, one. I modified the log times. Headquarters will have no record of what we say. Look, a message from Dead Man. It came with the umbilical cord. Sam, uh, I'm sorry. You deserve to know what you were carrying. But I couldn't risk Die Hardman finding out about the case. So I had no choice but to keep it off the books. You've got to keep this between us. We still don't know if the director can be trusted. The umbilical cord was taken from Bridget Strand. I removed it in secret. The cord wasn't attached to a fetus. It was outside her body. She asked me to take care of it. 
said it was the key to unlocking the Death Stranding. But she insisted that I never tell the director. The court shows no sign of decomposition or necrotization. Almost as if it's frozen in time. I thought Hartman might be able to make sense of it. So I had it hidden with your cargo at Mountain Knot City. Dead Man's observations were accurate. It's just like Mama's corpse. What do you mean? I mean they share a very unique property. Contain large amounts of Corellium in their cells. In other words, the President's cord was somehow connected to the beach, and that allowed it to escape the flow of time. I've put together the bones of a theory. It's patchy, but worth sharing, I think. Life on Earth has been rocked by many extinctions, great and small, including the Big Five. And if you examine the Earth's strata, its history, if you will, you'll find Corellium deposit to each. What if the manifestation of, uh, of beaches and other associated phenomena correspond to extinction-level events? You mean? Yes. Our Death Stranding could just be the latest of many. The records and research you helped us to recover strongly suggest that we are in the middle of the sixth extinction. Sixth extinction? Come on. You know what this is, yes? A frozen mammoth from 10,000 years ago. Correct. And this? The Iceman from our five, 5,300 years ago. Michael Quartz. <laughs> Bullshit. Humor me. What if the mammoth and the Iceman weren't frozen? You're saying time stopped for them just like it did for Mama? Hmm. Unfortunately, all these specimens were lost in the Death Stranding, so there's no way to examine the genuine articles, but some fragments of data did survive. With the aid of the chiral network, we may be able to piece together something more concrete using Evodevo tech. All right, how's this? A dinosaur from 65 and a half million years ago. Umbilical cord, not decomposed. Uh -uh. Only mammals have umbilical cords. Mm -mm. No. Only mammals have umbilical cords used for childbirth. This is something else. Call it a strand from the um, other side. I propose that mammalian umbilici are a sort of mimesis of the strand. That then, if the time, we shouldn't assume that everything about a death stranding is detrimental to life. Trilobites. Ammonites, dinosaurs, the mammoth, the iceman, all preserved as if frozen in time, all without exception, found with strands. Which is to say that all may have been connected to the beach. And this, when viewed in the context of the extinction entity, EE theory, leads me to surmise that organisms with strands are in fact extinction entities. You see, Sam, these are connected to the beach via their strands. And it is through this connection that they somehow bring about a death stranding. So you're saying Bridget was an extinction entity? It's far too soon to say anything for certain. And since you burned her body, we may never know. Hicks said Amelie's an EE, that she doesn't have dooms like the rest of us. Sam, think. Assume that President Strand was an EE. Isn't it possible that her daughter is too? At the very least, Higgs may hope as much now that the President is unavailable. So he kidnaps her for EE powers or whatever to cause a mass extinction. Hmm. Perhaps. Perhaps not. 
I doubt a single EE is powerful enough to cause a death stranding, assuming Amelie is an EE. Well, Higgs sure thinks she's got what it takes. Indeed. And we need to get her back as soon as possible. One minute remaining. Please hold on to something secure. Ah, this one is real. Sam, go west. How do you want me to handle Die Hardman? With your customary reserve. Nothing good will come of him learning of our suspicions. Whatever else is going on, we still need the chiral network. All right. Activating lab security measures. Proceed to the shore of the tar belt and begin work on the chiral relay. Once it's ready, use the Cupid to bring it online. The necessary materials are prepped for you. Supplies are limited, so handle them with care. You'll be carrying a lot, too. All things considered, this might be one of your hardest runs to date. Hartman knows more about the site than I do, so he'll take it from me. It's about time for his wake-up call anyway. Administering shock. Stand clear. Right. About that way station. The site we have chosen was an original candidate for the way station we lost to the tar belt. Uh, ironically, we suspended construction because we deemed it a little too unstable and not worth the risk. But this time, shot. So let's hope we weren't right to change horses in midstream. Fortunately for us, the foundation we laid down is still intact. All you have to do is transport the necessary materials to the site and finish the job. I'm afraid it's the only way we can expand the network further west and rescue Armony. We're counting on you, Sam. Order assigned.
And with that, we're all linked up. Once you cross the tar belt, the end will be in sight. We're this close to Emily, to America's. Edgenot City awaits. The staff we're sending will start by building a safe house. Over time, they'll expand their operations and establish a new facility. In doing so, they'll carry on the legacy of the brave souls lost to the tar. All thanks to you, Sam. Now, let's figure out how to get you across this tar belt. The only way west is through that. To make matters worse, I don't believe your PCC is capable of building anything that will get you across. There must be a way. We can't give up. Not with what's at stake. We'll see if we can't think of something here. But considering everything you've been through, I wouldn't be surprised if you've already got a few ideas of your own. I would have ever thought of that. Well done, Sam. But you out there giving it your all, there's hope for us yet.